All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Arma 3 with the 6v6 tournament hosted by ESM. Today, Team FK and Team 88, also known as Walking Death, go up against each other in a spot for the final. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Forget to see awesome. Cheers. And Lord and Alex are already running right next to each other. Holy balls. All right, Alex taking a frag near him, but surviving. Lord and Bill pushing up. On the other side of the town, we have Kruger and Trinic who are going up against each other. Kruger throwing a frag right behind Trinic. Did Trinic run away from the frag? He did. Bill got killed by Alex. And Alex is actually on a... Sort of open... No, actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. They, they do have uh, Lipelotas to cover the flag, but it's not even Lipelotas that takes him down. It is Phillips. Niltzar and Phillips right across from each other here. Niltzar taking down Phillips, so the right side is now under FK control. Lord, actually, without me realizing, taking the flag right underneath the eyes of Verricht. Lord already takes the flag. Nice voice crack. Already got the flag within like a minute. Trinok gets killed by friendly fire by Andy. And Andy gets downed by Kruger. Lord now running back home to the flag. It does seem like this map is a little bit tinier. Verrick right behind Lord. Can he get the shot on him though? He just needs to get the kill. He's hitting him. He's not hitting him. He's not killing him. Lord touches the flag. Which means it's one point for Team 88. Within five minutes of this match, Bill and Verrick, they're looking right at each other. Or they're not, I guess they're not looking at each other, but holy shit, how did he not see that? Verrick taking the flag from Team 88. Three, two, is he actually taking it? Lord is like, what? okay, Lord is coming, Lord is coming. Oh, Verrick got killed, I didn't realize. So Verrick got killed by Lotaz. This map is a lot smaller. Alex takes down Lord. Bill is trying to get the refrag on Alex. Ooh, Alex behind Bill. Bill gets killed by Alex as well. Alex is on two kills, but he's walking wounded and he needs to bandage himself up before he can do anything else. Phillips and Niltzar are were in a little fight. Niltzar won that engagement rather, rather quick. And now it's Verricht and Kino and Kruger. Verricht gets taken down by Kino. Point forward is not the only person standing between Kino and the flag. And on this side, Kruger just slaughtered Trinok. Trinok not very, not very lucky after he uh, <laughs> got team killed earlier. Or did team kill either or. Alex killing Lord again. Kino right next to Team FK's flag with Team FK taking him down. Alex killed by Lotaz. Kino killed by Andy. Niels are right there, right next to Bill. Bill going down, Neil surviving that engagement. This map is indeed a lot smaller. If we look at the flag distance here, the flag distance is literally just across these buildings, church, this building, sit, and then they're there. However, the flag area for the um, Team 88, while well, Neatsar gets uh, destroyed by Phillips, this flag area is kind of open compared to this flag area, which is a little bit more, it feels like it's a little bit more... Uh, convenient for an attacker who wants to come in and kind of go out with it some without a little bit more foliage to cover him a little bit more cover in general however team fk uh, solidifies their defense they're all on the back foot now though being uh well i guess it's not really hard to say it's really hard to say back foot considering the map is really tiny um you know the middle is realistically is really the church we got Phillips on one side being supported by bill and lord and kino and light Lotas on the middle right and we have Kruger on the far right. Alex engaging Bill with Andy. Bill and Phillips both go down to Alex. Alex already proving himself to be the MVP as he was the last game. Now he has to fight Lord who is covering the angle really short. He's not going to kill that guy. It's, ooh, try and get the frag regardless of that. Frag grenade going out way too far away. That's not going to kill Lord. That will kill Lord though. Some 5.56, five, whatever he's using, 6.5. Uh, 6 to the face, uh, meaning that now Team FK has a chance to go for the flag. The respawn is actually quite far away. If we take a look at that real quick, I almost went the wrong way. If we take a look, I guess I have to scroll out instead. If we take a look at the respawn. The respawn for 88 is over here. The respawn for Team FK is over there. So we can see 
the majority of the battle right now going on at the blue team's flag and it does seem like alex and andy both get killed as they approached the 88 team's area Verrick is pushing up but he has to deal with three members of the 88 team and we also have sorry i have to zoom in for that we also have Trina going up against Kroner. Trina gets killed. Bill... Oh no, I was going to say, okay, Bill gets killed. He gets uh, killed by Verrickt with the frag, but Verrickt also already got killed by Bill, probably with bullets just before that. Team FK is one point behind, as there is about 25 minutes left in this particular match. Lord and Kino are setting up a sort of longer line here, whereas, uh, ooh, we got a fight going on between Kruger and Annie, and Kruger takes out another player in a direct 1v1. Now, however, Verrick and Trinok are trying to refrag Kruger as he's already got two kills on his right flank, and they're approaching him very quick. Kruger taking down Verrick on the three kill streak. Trinok not looking at him. Kruger going straight for the flag. The only person defending there is point forward, and Kino and Kruger are both at their flag position. The good thing here for the defenders is there's not a lot of ways in. Kruger is in, however. Kruger gets it, and he's making away with it. Kruger got the flag. Kino is like sitting as a sort of back guard with Alex point forward, and Andy, sorry, I couldn't see what it was immediately, trying to beat Kruger to their flag. Oh, he's always oh, just, just like a little cover in between. He can't see him. He can't see him. Oh, this is not good. Not good for Team FK, who are about to be 2-0 behind less than five minutes into the round. Kruger scores. It is 2-0 for 88. Lord is having an engagement with Trinok. But he's also being faced on by Andy and Alex from the main road. He's taking a shitload of bullets throughout that SUV. Surprisingly, he's still alive. Frag explodes and does take him down. Alex and Trinock on the far right side with Phillips on around the graveyard. Having a fight with Rick, even though Rick's not really aware of that he's having a fight because he's about to get flanked by... Oh, Phillips, he did see us see him but Rick has no chance of getting out of there alive. Alex on the flag with Kino. Alex takes down Kino. The only person now who can stop them from capturing is Lip Lotus, who is in a very, may I say, very little cheeky bugger position right here. I can barely get him on the camera, and here we go. He's watching this flag really tightly. Alex gets taken down by Bill, leaving the blue for a flag, Team 88's flag, secure once again. Kruger is trying to head up towards the flying end point forward and Verrickt are uh, obviously going to try and stop that. Nilsar gets killed by Bill and uh, so far 2-0 and there's about 23-22 minutes remaining. Verrickt is the only one here defending the exit. That's not true. Point forward is right there. Trinok on the right side of the map. Probably going to be aiming straight down towards Kino. There is a sign or something along the way. He couldn't see him. Trinok in a very cheeky position. They basically have to cross this road. Firefight's going on. Trinok doesn't have any eyes on, so he decides to move. There's no one... I mean, besides life who is just doing a very important job, which is covering the flag from a very cheeky angle, if I may say so. Um, there's not really much that is going on. There's a slight firefight going on at a church. Bill and Kino took out, I think it was Alex. Andy then frags Bill and is now dealing with Kino on one side. He's also trying to deal with Phillips on the other. Trinok takes down Kruger. Lip Lotus is ready for the fire here, though. He's so ready. He knows Trinok is about to approach. And he's just watching the flag. And there's nothing Trinok's going to be able to do against that, most likely. Unless he 
pre-fires the corner or he pre-frags the corner, but it's going to be, I seem, I think it's going to be very unlikely for Trunar to get away with this engagement and get the flag and kill Light Pelotus, who's obviously watching the flag very attentively. However, Trunar isn't pushing. Also, Bill is also watching the flag, so it's going to, it's a 2v1 situation. Right now, Team FK is trying to deal with contacts right around their flag. Point forward, Kino, Verricht, Nielzer, Phillips, and Alex are all like within the same 20 meters. Nielzer and Phillips. Nielzer gets killed by friendly fire, and a Phillips then kills point forward. Alex mows down Phillips, doing a nice little dive, making it a little bit safer. However, Kino is right behind their flag. All he has to do is try to make it in there. However, they do actually, I just realized this is a very nice position for Verick to be in. He is also, I just want to, oh, it's his face. Okay, it's his face. I was like wondering why his face is so weird. He's obviously watching the flag, uh, basically copying whatever Life Lotus is doing here. Trinox still taking out guys behind basically enemy lines. He's being hunted by Kruger and by Phillips. He could see, he could see Life Lotus here. He's not. He's going to try to take out Phillips. He gets taken out by Phillips instead. And he is close to the blue four base. Red's flag was stolen for about a quarter of a second there. Lord and Kruger are going up against Andy. Lord is looking the wrong way. He just starts looking the correct way. Kruger is coming down the main road. Kruger and Andy having a fight. Andy wins that without a single fire shot being fired. Lord, however, then gets... Oh, he doesn't kill him. He doesn't kill him. Lord knows where he is. He saw him. He saw him. Nilsar is about to. They're about to. They're, what, they're, how did they not kill this guy yet? He's right there. How? How have we not killed him yet? Lord goes down by Nilsar. And he now has to deal with Kino, who is just on the other side of the fence. If he stands up, Kino is going to see him. Kino might have seen him there. It's not really, not really certain about that. Alex still in the area. I'm trying to keep my voice to not go weird, but Alex still here in the area. Kruger's about to come in. He sees him, and Kruger takes him down. Nilsar also is down. So now it's Light Lotus, Phillips, Kruger, Bill Garnier, and Kino all around the the entire Blue Four team, just basically around their flag in one way or another. Red 4 or Team FK has uh, a member sneaking up. Try to, wait, where's the other member? Oh, wow! What the hell? How does that happen? Andy and Trinok right on the Blue Force flag. Keep in mind, Team 88 has two points and Team FK has zero. So they really need to start making some progress here. There's nothing coming from behind him. As long as Blue, four, uh, blue Team aren't dying, these guys don't have to worry, really worry about their back. Garnier kills someone, and he still they haven't seen Lipe. He has been sitting. <clears throat> nice voice He has been sitting there for the last ten minutes. Andy doesn't know where Lipe is. Does he look left? He doesn't. Lipe sees him, takes him down. Trinok knows where he is. He's gonna pre-fire the corner. He takes him down. Lipe finally dies. They now know where he is. Lord, however, coming into the zone. Trinok goes down as his body touches. The flag, his arm outstretched, trying to get that flag they want so bad. Team FK really on the back foot. Kruger gets the flag again. There really needs to be a... I feel like the warning comes like a second too late because they can start running. Alex is going to take out Kruger here. No, he's not. Alex and Kruger both missing each other. Nilsar has to come in and save the day for Team Red or Team FK. As Phillips is trying to come in from behind, he takes down Verricht, he takes down Nilsar. It is now a 1v1. The flag has been returned. Phillips gets taken down by Alex. No, that's a lie. Bill and Phillips both get on Alex, and he has no way of getting out of it alive. Life Lotus switched his position like a little cheeky bugger and is now watching the flag from a different side. Is it the most glorifying job in your team to be watching the flag? No. Is it the most important one? I would argue so. Trinok and Bill going up right against the same wall over here. They have no clue. They have no clue. They're like, oh no. Bill gets the kill on Trinok. Point forward, fragging out into the hallway. 
Kino, Kino gets fragged literally by Verick. Alex kills down, uh, kills, not takes, or I guess takes down or kills Bill. Phillips is on the flank watching the left side. There's about 15 ish minutes left in this game. Kruger on the far right side here, trying to sneak back into a little hallway where he was earlier. He, do, he, could, he could see point forward here. No, oh, no, he doesn't. Annie, he heard Annie. He must have heard Annie walking behind him. He's slow walking. He's going to see him. No, he didn't. Oh, Annie's so lucky. You know, he, he must have seen his legs. And he gets taken down by Kruger. Very short window of the fire at him there. Phillips takes down Nilsar. And Team FK seems to be in a world of hurt right now. With Kruger being all over the flag for like the fourth time. Kruger taking down point forward. He had the initial shot on him too. Kruger takes a flag from the outside. And there's only one person who can stop this. Alex is in between him and Kruger. Kruger gets fragged by Alex. Red Forest flag is out in the open for everyone to capture. It is out there. Alex gets fragged by Lord. Lord takes that frag and survives it. He is bandaging himself. Trinok is up watching the main road. Bill is crossing. Trinok saw Bill. But Trinok gets gacked. It seems as if what we saw with the uh, Team FK earlier, they can't seem to make that work for them again. Point forward gets killed. And Phillips is now way behind Red Four Lines. Team FK, a lot more trouble than they were against the game against the Bohemia Devs. And the Inverit going down the main street. We got Kino just off to the side watching that. Kruger going for his signature flank. Can he do it a fourth time? He did get stopped capturing the flag twice. I guess three times a charm, right? He did capture it once, but he got stopped two other times with the flag in his arms. Or technically on his back, I suppose. Team FK is really consolidating their terrain. They uh, haven't really pushed past the church in a while. And um, it definitely doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime soon. With Phillips taking down Alex. Point four disconnected, which makes it a 5v6 as well for Team FK, which is really bad. Phillips in a really strong position here. He can't really get fragged without him knowing. The door's even closed. Nilsard's on the other side of the wall. He knows it. There's no way he's going to kill him. Kino going straight for the flag. Verick, though, in the cheekiest of positions. Lotus, like Lotus was doing. Very cheekingly defending the flag. Phillips and Lord now on the side, same side. They're so close to each other. Lord throwing a frag. Lord knows one of his friends got killed here earlier. Verick got killed by Bill. Bill also then takes out Alex. Trinok got killed by Kruger. There's nothing at all stopping Blue Team from capturing the flag and making it 3-0 right now. Kruger being on the flank. Flag being captured by Bill. Lord and Phillips are on the flank as well. It is a 5v6. Point forward is reconnecting. Uh, but it's not looking that good for Team FK or Red Team. Phillips massacring more and more of the Red 4 team. Nilsar needs to just be pre-firing. Verick pushing on Phillips. Verick misses a grenade. Alex gets taken down by Kruger. Phillips finally dying. 3-0. Kruger being a little cheeky boy. About to capture the flag in the quick succession. Nilsar and Verick. They know their flag's been captured, but Kruger also knows not to go that way. Nilsar takes a frag right on top of his head. He is no longer taking part in this battle for the next couple of seconds. Verick tries to get out Kruger. However, Bill's coming right behind Verick. Is he going to get the flag back? He's... No, he does not. Bill and Lord knows where the flag, know where the flag is. They're about to retake the flag. And now Annie is coming up the street. Lord is covering it. Holy shit, that frag grenade was perfect. Stopping Andy in his tracks quite literally. Alex also getting fragged by Lord. 
It is about to be 4-0 if I counted that correctly. Which is honestly quite brutal. Holy shit, Trinok takes down the flag carrier. Second time the flag goes down. Trinok on the flank. He's not going to stop them from capturing it though. Unless he throws a frag right about now. Whew. I don't think he's going to. Phillips gets the flag delivered. It is 4-0 with 7 flag touches for the blue team. Trinok ran inside the spawn area for the blue team and gets killed. I don't think he realized that. That's kind of sad. Sad times. Holy balls. Kino is right up front near the Team FK flag. Probably trying to maybe take uh, one or two guys down and then make for the flag. Even then, I mean, obviously he doesn't notice. I do because I have the bird's eye view. You could basically make a straight run for the flag if you got it. Nilsar is dealing with Phillips and Lord over here. Phillips taking down Nilsar. Phillips is one of the MVPs of... I can't fucking click his name. Are you serious? Come here. Come here. Come here, bastard. 22 kills for Phillips. I want to see what Kruger has, though. Kruger has, if I can click on your name, bastard. Kruger has 15. I really feel like Kruger's doing a lot better. Kruger has got a couple caps. Kruger actually adding one more kill to his tally there, killing Verrickt. It is 4-2-0 with Team FK in a lot of trouble here. Alex, the only person who's gotten the flag. Ooh, is he getting it though? No, he's not. Kino gets the flag. Alex can't get the kill. Kino running away with the flag. Running the wrong way. Lord gets fragged by point forward. Alex trying to get Kino. Kino makes it. No, Kino does not make it. Kino gets refragged with the flag, or he gets reflagged. Sorry, that was a bad joke. Kino gets reflagged by Alex, and the flag goes back to Red Team Space, which is only like six feet away, but the idea is still there. Nilsar, Alex, Verricht, and Andy are pushing up on their flag. Bill is in the middle of the church courtyard, but it's three red four right now as Bill gets taken down. Kruger with his signature flank. I'm assuming this is Kruger. Yes, it is. Kruger with a signature flank on the far outside on the left or the right. And, ooh, what's this? Did he get killed? Aw, uh, Trinuk. So close to the flag. Light Blow just has not moved. How many kills does he have? One or two? Okay, he has three kills somehow. I'm not really sure how he has three kills, but he has three kills somehow. Uh, Verricht and Lord in a direct engagement here. Lord gets taken out by Verricht. Phillips, knowing that there's a, a red fort guy running across the street. Does he know? Does he know? This is a good question. This is going to be some intense first-person footage. He gets saved by someone. Alex saves Verricht. The question is, are they going to know where Lipe Lotus is hiding? They're going to have to take him out if they want to make a flag run. That was a nice voice crack. They're checking upstairs. It's all clear. They have to open the door. That's a very risky move. There's no one there. There's no one there. He saw He saw Bill. He saw Bill. He, also, he doesn't know, but he knows right there. Alex takes down Lord. If there's ever a chance... Wait, what? Wait, what's Kruger doing? Kruger... Is on a sneaky little secretive mission behind enemy lines. He's probably waiting for Verrick to respawn, considering he just got killed by Phillips. Point forward again kicked off, which is really not good for Red 4. Kino gets sniped by Andy. Alex kills Bill. Alex is in a strong position, killing people over and over and over. But we've already seen <clears throat> we've already seen that killing people in this game mode isn't enough. Otherwise, Alex by himself would probably be doing pretty damn good. Alex runs out to the flag. There's Phillips and Lipolo just trying to deal with him. Frag coming out on his feet. That's right behind him. Phillips about to cap a frag. Oh, Phillips goes down, but oh, Alex still alive. However, Lipolo just doesn't even care. Then it doesn't matter because Lord comes in and says, no, no, you don't touch our flag, mister. Five minutes left in this round. It's 4-0 for Team 88 versus Team FK. Lipolotus still 
in the most cheekiest of positions. Not a bad idea, though, if I may say so, to have a person constantly watching the flag at all times. Kruger gets killed pretty much on the flag, and another end to his flanking adventure. But however, we still have Andy here in the back of Team 88's area. He is watching for the reinforcements to come in. Kruger about to round the corner, stops watching at the wrong moment, and he doesn't see him. And he does, but they fucking exchange rounds, and they both go down. Less than five minutes remaining, we have Kino, Lord, and Garnier going up against Alex, Niltzar, and Verricht. Verricht having the flank on all these people. He must see at least two of them. Verricht going out against Kino and Garnier taking down Niltzar. Now it's Alex versus the three blue fours. Grenade gets caught out on Kino, who goes down. Alex, close range versus Bill, but they both miss a few times, and Bill comes out to victor, and now... No one's watching the flag. There's no one watching a blue forest flag. Sorry, red forest flag. And this is pretty much a 5 nil half for Team 88. Because the entirety of Team FK is running their little butts off trying to get the flag back. But they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. Kruger about to watch Verricht run straight at his rifle. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he, though? Nope, doesn't even matter. It's not even him. It's Lord who takes him down from the graveyard. Lord now... Oh, actually, never mind. Damn. Five points. Five points for Team 88 with nine captures. We'll have to see in the second round how that's going to happen. All right, the second half of the Team FK versus Team 88 game is about to start, as you can see, in about 18 seconds. Team FK has about 30 minutes to really change up this situation. They are 5-0 against Team 88, and Team 88 is going to sit back and relax. Team 88 being on red 4 and Team FK being blue 4, Hopefully, uh, we'll see some interesting strats from Lipe Lotus around the flag again, because it was kind of interesting seeing where he was sitting. And to be fair, uh, he did, if there was any enemies around, he did manage to kill them often enough to where I don't think a single flag was even touched by Team FK. So maybe this time we'll see a little bit of a difference. I believe if there is an equal number of flag captures, which would obviously, or flag returns, it would be uh, going to the flag touches. So right now it's five flag captures and nine flag touches for Team 88 or Red Team. And it's zero and zero for Team FK or Blue Team. So I have a lot of work to make up for in the next 30 minutes. Andy and Lord immediately going here, not really looking at each other. Alex gets taken down by Lord. However, Andy sees Lord, and Lord has nothing to do as he's mid reload. Kino gets taken down by Trunok, but Kruger, Kruger on the flank of Trunok. Oh, he doesn't, they don't see each other. Kruger and Trunok doing the same thing here, but they're just missing each other. Trunok is leaving his butt behind, going for, of course, Lipe Lotus in the most sneaky of positions. Well, maybe not the most sneaky position, but if you're coming into this compound area, where are you going to look first? Doorway. Window. Windows up there. This little shack, that thing. No one's going to take a look at that little tree. So, a big plus, in my opinion, to uh, Lipe Lotus here for being the cheeky little bugger. Tr Trinok and Kino missed each other somehow, but Trinok fragging Kino now basically being right behind Team 88's flag. However, on the other side, Team 88's right on top of, the cr of their flag. Bill and Kruger are fighting Neil and Verricht, and Bill just gets killed by Verricht on the flag, almost giving them 10 flag touches. At this point, it's not going to get down that low, but it might be interesting to see if this game could be won on flag touches and not flag captures, stopping both Kruger and the Bill from actually capturing the flag. Point forward gets killed by Neil 
friendly fire. That's just a bit unlucky. Trinok and Kino miss each other. Trinok might not even want to really fire at Kino, even if he did see him. Just to kind of try and stay a little bit sneaky. Trinok obviously knows that there's a guy defending the flag like no tomorrow. Even though it's 5 nil. that's very cool. I gotta say, I do really like that, that they're not giving up defending their flag even when they're 5 nil. They're not getting overconfident. They're not giving themselves a six member. Hell, they don't really need to. And he gets killed, or gets a kill on Bill. They don't really need to, considering they were playing a 5v6, if you count Lipe as a defender only. They were playing a 5v6, and to be fair, you know, they are winning 5 nil. Trinok versus Lipe. Low Trinok. No, oh, he has the flag. He has the flag. Trinok can't get past that. Lipe's right behind him. No, he gets taken down. Gets taken down by Lord and Lipe. And there is one flag touch for Blue 4 for Team FK. But by this time, they really need to get a flag capture. They got five flag captures to go against and nine flag touches. Yeah, I did see I did see uh, Trinok get stuck there for like, maybe a second on this little area where he couldn't get through. Which, to be fair, is Arma for you. It sucks for him. Uh, it sucks for Team FK, but... Team 88, five captures, nine touches. Team FK, zero captures, one touch. So the odds are very heavily stacked towards Team 88 going to the finals. Point forward going down due to Bill. Andy trying to hunt down Bill with the refrag. Andy almost getting taken out by Lord, who's in a higher, higher position. Lord not even going to try and re uh, peek that angle. He's leaving, he's running. Opening the door next to the compound. Verricht is upstairs. Watching the flag. Verricht? No. This could be interesting. Verricht opening the door. Not Verricht. It was... Oh, Lord opened the door. But he did frag Verricht. Now, Niels are the only person who can stop Lord. Niels are you're watching the wrong way. Niels are gets taken down. Point forward gets taken down by Andy's friendly frag grenade. Not being able to stop Lord. Lord, ca oh my god. Lord touches the flag. Cannot run away with it though. Andy, not knowing Kruger's there. Kruger and Andy going up against each other. No, Kruger gets Andy. And the flag is all Kruger's. But Alex is stopping Kruger from touching the flag. It's five captures, ten touches for Team 88. With zero t uh, caps and one touch for Team FK. The flag is about six feet away from the uh, the post. I'm sure it'll put it back up in just a second. But for right now, Team FK has got all hands on deck. All hands on deck, trying to trying to get this victory or somehow pull a victory out of this. It's not going to be easy. Phillips on the far left side. Let's take a quick look at him. What he's doing? He's just uh, oh, he's just covering this entire flank. Nilsar, that's like the third friendly fire incident. We saw that grenade land here from Andy, who has been playing pretty decent so far today, but he's just been getting really unlucky. Now there's four, sorry, there's three uh, Team FK players were here. Two of them got taken down. The flag is just sitting out here, kind of. Lord sees it, he can smell the flag. Gets killed by Alex because he gets a little bit too greedy. Bill and Phillips are on the left side with Bill being closer than Phillips. Did they return a flag yet? No, they haven't. They're probably okay with it being there, even though I would personally move it to the flag point there, but Bill got taken out. Andy and Phillips are fighting. They're both missing each other completely with Phillips being walking wounded and Andy reloading. If Andy has a grenade, he can take him out. Phillips taking the frag from Andy, going down, having to respawn. Three of Team 88's members just got wrecked. In quick session, Trina gets the flag, rolls away, gets Lord. Does he get Lord? He does get Lord, but they refragged each other. God, so the flag is down, and there's no one near of either team. But obviously, being closer to Red Forest spawn, meaning that Team 88 doesn't really have to worry about this situation right right now. 
Point forward and Kruger are right next to each other. Kruger hears point forward. He sees him. Point, look behind you. The old point gets fragged by Kruger. Red flag's been returned. And uh, we're running out of time here for Team FK. Kino frags Andy. Alex frags Kino, making it basically equal in the center. Bill is coming up against Nilzar. Do they know they're here? Does he know? Did he hear? He's not. He, oh, they're peeking, they're peeking, they're peeking. Nilzar gets some shots on him from Bill. Is he about to frag his butt? Is that a frag? It wasn't, was it? Oh, he's about to run in free firing. No, they take down each other in some weird way. Phillips now also running in on the flank. He was in a situation with them fragging each other. It's now point forward and Varick trying to guard the flag. It really seems like Blue 4 has kind of given up on this stage of the battle. It's five captures and ten touches for Team 88. And zero captures and I believe two touches for Team FK. Really uh, not in the favor of Team FK so far. Alex and Kino basically right next to each other. Alex is going to come out. Did he not hit a door? He didn't hit a door. He's going to pick the corner. He's going to get him. Okay, now he just has to try and get... Nope. Alex gets taken down by Lord. There's multiple ways that they're basically watching. Not in the least. Lip Lotus, the absolute lad who is sitting in a different angle... One that I would never expect if I was playing this. I would expect a guy, like I said, maybe sitting in the bush or whatever. Every time Lotus gets killed, he switches his position just enough where you're not going to expect to see him. Lord also in a really strong position, watching his entire <coughs> corridor. Hell, watching part of the graveyard even from where he is. And he has a good line of sight on the left. And he doesn't really have a line of sight on the graveyard, but he can at least see movement if there was any movement to be happening. We have point forward Andy and Bill in some sort of triangle relationship, trying to see who wants to peek out first. Andy gets the height advantage on Bill, takes him down, and uh, Andy takes out Phillips. I haven't seen Kruger in a while. And that's why, when I just mentioned him, Kruger takes out Neil. Now it's point versus Kruger. Point gets... Ooh, 20 minutes left. Kruger gets taken down. It doesn't take them very long to deal with Kruger, but he is constantly flanking. Now Kino is right there on the flank. And point forward has to basically deal with Kino to make sure that flag stays secure for just a half a second. Kino running over to garbage. Do they hear each other? Do they know each other? Do they know they're here? Point forward, looking for the contact. Kino, no, he's not going for it. Kino gets killed by Neil Trinock at the flag. And oh no, Lipe Lotus with his cheeky position gets the kill. Trinock has no clue where that came from. He probably has an assumption that he was in the garbage bin or maybe in this little red container if he didn't check it, but Trinuk is not having any kind of flag capture luck right here. We're going to see Alex and Bill go up to each other. No, did he see him? I don't think he did. Alex? Is Alex going to come upstairs? He is. And... Bill goes down. Nilsar goes down to Kruger. Kruger being the ever-harassing person he could be. Running in, getting a kill, getting two kills, maybe. Getting three kills? No way! He just mowed down three people, clearing the entire side of Team FK. Ruining not only their flank, their cover, their defense, also basically slowing them down, having to now rerun out of the spawn. And this is basically turning into a slugfest for Team FK, where they've only touched the flag twice. They have not managed to capture it. Alex and Lord coming up against each other right here. They're both looking at each other. Lord less expecting than Alex. Alex and Bill now facing each other. Bill throwing a grenade. Did Alex see him? They saw each other. Holy fuck! Phillips fragging, <laughs> fragging both his friend and his enemy there. I'm surprised. I'm not sure how they have a 203. I'm not sure what the rules are in weaponry and how launchers are given. Maybe it's a certain amount of kills. Kino 
about to get the 11th touch for Rick taking down the flag. However, still got the 11th touch for the Team 88 or for the Red 4 team. Kruger probably hearing from um, Kino that there is a guy watching the flag. Varick coming out. Kruger taking down Varick. It's Alex and point forward. They're taking, they take down Kruger. Now, the blue for a flag is secure, but there's not much more time left. And uh, it's still 0 2 5 is the basic score if you're not taking the touches, but just the captures into consideration, which obviously is the main source of scoring. If there was, ooh, this is gonna be bad. If there was, uh, if the equal amount of captures were to happen, then the amount of flag touches were to be interesting. But right now, I don't see that happening anytime soon where they need to get five points in the next, like, 10 minutes. Trinock takes down the ever annoying Kruger. Trinock now moving forward. Trinock taking down not just Kruger, also Kino. Now he has to deal with Bill and Lord, and Lord is right there. And they're actually. He's going to. I'll give him the third kill, considering uh, Bill did spray down Lord's butt, but it doesn't matter, because uh, the only thing he was supposed to do there was capture the area, and he didn't. Phillips. And Lotus are still on the flag. Phillips gets taken down. Lotus aware that there's someone coming. Alex fighting. Ooh, he kills him. He kills him. He's prone. But Lotus, like an executioner, sh shoots him in the back of the head. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. No way he was going to get away with that flag as long as life is there. The entire loss of... Team FK isn't necessarily to rag down upon Lipe. I don't think he's necessarily contributing that much. Let's take a look at his, look, let's take a look at Lipe's kills. I don't think he's adding that many kills to the roster. Two kills in this entire round. But those two kills were on the flag. And that's what matters. Nilzar takes down Phillips. Now they have to realize that Lotus is up there at some point, right? Oh yeah, they do! Kill him! I just want to see, I want to see it interesting. I really kind of secretly hope that they kill him. Oh, Lotus gets fragged. Nilzar, however, does, gets killed. I'm sure it sounds like I'm, I'm for Team FK. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound for, to be for someone. I just like being for the underdog, I suppose. It's, it'd be interesting to me to see what would happen if they both get five captures. But at this point, uh, with about... 10 to 12 minutes left and team fk with zero captures and team 88 with five and then not even counting their 11 touches for 88 this could be really really hard then again like i said i just like the idea of uh seeing the underdog in this particular match do something and he going up against the uh, lord and then indirectly against bill he has a launcher though it's about to find Lord. Bill's also watching. He's watching from up here. And he got spotted by Lord. Not giving him any sort of time to do anything about that. Trinok takes down Kruger again. Trinok is going to have to go take down Kino if he wants to get anywhere. He does. He makes him, he makes him walking wounded. And Trinok gets taken down by Phillips in a fantastic dive. If I may say so. So... That means that right now, Team FK really needs to start making stuff to go boom, boom, or need to go home. It's all coming down to this. Phillips takes down Alex, leaving Nilzar to deal with three hostiles. Phillips, Kruger, and Kino. Pushing up on just Nilzar. Kruger in the open against Nilzar. Kruger takes down Nilzar. In, oh my god. Nilzar totally flunked his shot on Kruger. And he just gets eviscerated. Trinak now going up against his buddy Kruger on the flank. They've been doing this for the last like 40 minutes. 50 minutes basically. 
Trinok in an angle, Kruger at an angle, Kruger and Trinok both firing, no grenades being thrown. They're both messed up. Kruger is walking wounded. Trinok might be going for the frag. He might know. He might know he's walking wounded. No, he's not going to throw a frag though. Point forward gets taken down by Kino on the street. Trinok barely survives that frag. Alex versus Kino right here. No, no, he just missed him. No, he must have seen him. He must have seen him. He must have seen him. He's not taking him down. Kino making it for the flag. Verrick on the flag duty though. Verrick takes down Kino, and Verrick and um, Leip are basically doing the same thing. Look at Leip; he's back in his original position. Can you say anything about this? No, you can't really. It's just really you. You are sacrificing one of your members to just be at base all the time. Like I said, is it one of the most fun things to do? No, I bet it isn't. Is it one of the most important things to do? You know, obviously besides capturing the flag, which has happened five times. Yes, I think if, obviously capturing the flag is really important, but. Having someone who's constantly defending your flag and has been doing a good job at it. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of kills, no, but he's killed them when it was necessary. Uh, even when they're 5-0 with about 10 minutes left and uh, Team 88 not really worrying about full-on assaulting. Um, you know, they could easily tell him, like, hey, you know, get off the defense, but they're not. They're not. Lord and Nilzart. No. Oh, Needles are getting a frag in the face by Lord. Trinok taking down Kruger. Lord saw Trinok for sure. Or at least he knows he's there considering Kruger went down. Phillips now on the border of Red Forest spawn. Trinok watching behind him. Lord looking for the refrag on Trinok after he took down Kruger. Kino also being very aggressive towards the front now. Alex coming close to the flag. The majority of Team 88 uh, in the middle area near their flag. And Team FK, though they are on the losing point in this battle, they're way too far away from the flag. Alex in the area where Lipe was earlier. He takes down Kino. Trinok and Alex against Lipe, Lord, Phillips, and Bill, however. Bill takes down Alex in that super strong position. The lack of the use of the Team FK really should have used more of these areas here. Trinok behind, does he realize where Lipe is? It doesn't even matter because he gets taken down by Kino. Andy and Phillips miss each other. Bill still in that position. They're firing at each other. Andy takes him down. Phillips is right behind him. Neiltar's coming up. Phillips can get a double kill right here. Which he does. He basically executes Andy as he's healing himself. A very lucky but very needy double kill for Phillips right there on that street corner. Where there's 11 kills for Phillips. This is Kruger. We want to see what he's doing. 13 kills to 10 deaths. Not that bad. Turn up the other flanker on the other team. 14 to 10. So they're basically... I think they've killed each other more often than not. Kind of giving each other the, the kills and the deaths. Kruger and Trinok right next to their Kruger... Did he see Trinok? I don't think so. Oh, they did so now. And Kruger gets away with that kill, giving himself the 14th kill and giving Trinok the 10th or 11th death in this game or this round. Nilzar and Kruger, did he see him? I think he did. Kruger snatching Nilzar, now reloading in the open, running towards the flag with point forward, smacking Kruger down. Alex going up against B Phillips and Bill. Bill survives that frag. Phillips and Andy. Oh, never mind. Phillips just died. Phillips is dead. I didn't see that. That's my man. He actually got killed by Andy. So the 10 minute marker was hit about a minute ago. There's nine minutes left for Team FK, which means about one flag capture every uh, every two minutes. I don't think it's something that's impossible on this map, considering uh, Team 88 got, I think, two back to back pretty much at one point uh, last round. It's really not looking good for Team FK. I mean, zero caps and two or three touches on the flag. Whereas uh, Team 88 is up to five caps and at least 11 touches, if not 12. Uh, it's not looking good. Bill's about to take him down by Verrick. If he even gets the kill. Verrick peeking with nothing but his head, but Bill snatching it from the jaws of defeat somehow. Now running straight for the flag. It's going to be their 12th touch. If Nilsar doesn't stop him, Bill checking the corner where Lotus was sitting. 
Bill knows there's more enemies there. He takes both of them down. Bill, absolute mad lad, if I may say so. Bill, you're a lad. And he does get taken down with the flag by Alex. Lord, now trying to peek. Alex, knowing where he is. A little bit of desync. Alex taking down Lord. No, he's not. He's hiding in the bus stop. No, actually, his body's hiding in the bus stop. The truck stops Phillips' grenade. 203 is landing next to Alex. Alex has to get out of that straight position. Phillips, more 203 is being launched. Kind of cheap to kill someone that way, but. Kruger pushing up to Verrickt. Kills point four. He's not going to take out Verrickt, is he? He is. He snatches him. Ooh, Nilsar refracts Kruger after again taking down two enemies inside their area. Phillips is dead. Andy is also dead. Bill is already back here. I feel like he just died like 20 seconds ago, but... To be fair, this map is really tiny. I'm sure you could sprint quite a fa quite a while in 20 seconds on this map. Five minutes remaining, or about five to six minutes remaining. Team FK, they did a really damn good job against the dev team for Arma. They took down Bohemia's dev team quite simply uh, with, I think it was four or five to one. Uh, pretty simple victory for them. But here, they're being overclassed or outclassed quite easily by Team 88. Maybe they're just having an unlucky round or their map's not their favor. But Bill about to get the flag for the 6 nil. He's running. Is he running for it? It's a little bit desinky. He's grabbing it. Alex coming up. He probably just threw a frag grenade. Lord trying to cover Bill. Frag's going out, killing Alex. Bill being covered by Kino and by... Uh, Phillips, Lord in the back, snatching Annie, snatching Alex. Kruger is coming up to kill point forward, snatching the right behind Lord. Lord puts a round into Kruger. Kruger and Trinok are looking right at each other. Trinok kills Kruger. Do they kill Lord? Lord kills Nilsar. Trinok kills Lord. Five minute timer as Bill touches base, giving them another point. Making it 6-0. Kino now also running with the flag. It's basically GG. Kino about to make this 7-0 if he gets across the road. Trinok, the only person who can stop Kino. He doesn't do it. He doesn't get the frag. He has to run. Alex running for a Kino. Kino is just running. I can't believe. I want to give an actual shout out to Light Lotus. Like absolute mad lad that your team you have such a strong will to win that they're still having this guy sit at the back of their thing making it six or seven nil for team f8 uh, team 88 not team f88 for team 88 kino goes down by the hands of alex phillips about to get the refrag on alex i think he saw him doesn't want to push up too much however Alex has to deal with Lord and the person in this building proving as well, just as Lyap Lotus, to be very brutal in the defense. Two guys in the defense and four in the assault, and Team 88 is just reigning supreme. There's nothing that Team FK can do anymore. They already called GG. There's about two to three minutes left in this game, and uh, the kills that they're getting now are just more for showboating than for anything. Um, this semifinal is 99% uh, all for Team 88. Alex and Phillips going up against each other somehow gets away with that. He gets Nilzar. He's throwing a random frag in it over the wall. And Phillips doing an amazing job on this flank. Harassing the enemies more than anything. He sees Trina. He gets him down. And Team F88. Sorry. Oh my god. I keep saying that. Team 88 
really ruining Team FK in the last 10 minutes of this game. Scoring two more points, making it 7-0 for them. Lord is pushing up. Bill is right there. Phillips is on the flank. Four members of Team FK are here, and they're all getting slaughtered. Verrickt kills Bill. Alex kills Phillips. I actually take that back. Lord over going for the flag. There's no one watching it. There's no one watching it. Lord and Kruger are both on the flag. They don't even know who to get. Oh shit, Trinic is coming right on up on the flag. He knows it's being captured. He saw his flag go down. Lord stops Trinic. No, Trinic stops Lord, but Lord also stops Trinic. Kruger being hit. Kruger getting shot up by Verrick. Verrick trying to get the angle on him before he crosses the corner. He does cross the corner right in front of Verrick. Last two minutes alive. Kruger running, Kruger running, Kruger gets down by Verrick. It's all, all up here. It's all up here. Bill can stop him. Bill can stop Verrick. Ooh, Bill doesn't stop Verrick from returning the flag. It's going to stay 7-0. Team FK, like I said, though they gave their their best, I'm sure, against the game against the Armor 3 in the Armor 3 in the game against the Armor 3 dev team. Right now is being simply over and outclassed for this semifinal position or the final position as my voice and my brain are both dying. Team FK really not doing that hot anymore. Andy getting killed. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Alex now has to watch two corners. It's not going to happen. Bill, again, mowing him down. Bill has got just a shitload of kills going on for him. Verrick in the building. The last one that can stop Bill. He ha Bill really wants to get that 8-0. Oh, he catches a frag right on his legs. Point forward and Verrick around the flag. This is nothing but a GG about to come up for Team 88. Fighting over the flag. Nilsar is about to get the flag, but he gets fragged by Leip. And Leip gets fragged by Trinic, but Trinic is and Lord are fighting and Lord. Oh no, he caught the flag, but he wasn't enough. That was uh, honestly really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The finale should be soon. And uh, when that comes up, we'll see it. So thank you guys and uh, see you in the next one.